stands for Bhutan and bloody hell get me out of here. Hello, welcome to Hearts of Iron 4 A to Z, a series where I play every single starting nation in Hoi 4. Now a lot of people still don't understand that when I say starting nation, I mean every nation at the start of the game, not releasable nation. I hate myself, I just don't hate myself that much. But hey, we're going uh, close to 600k subscribers, so uh, whenever I hit that, I don't really keep track of my sub count anymore and haven't for like the past year or two, um, I'll do a um, a releasable nation special of Hoi 4 A to Z. So uh, hit the sub button if you're new around here and you want to see me suffer more. But howdy everybody, welcome back to Hoi 4 A to Z. Today we're back in the bees for B. And this is our seventh nation of Hoi 4 a to Z, and as you can tell, at the rate we are going, we shall be done. Never. Oh, if, they, if they ever add any like new nations in through um the DLC that's coming up with the patch, I'm I'm screwed. This is gonna mess this whole damn list up. Look at that. It's Bhutan. I bet you can't even tell if it's usually that little teal color because nobody has ever looked at Bhutan before. Bhutan. Bhutan. I think there's a few Paradox developers out there that probably watch my videos, and if you do, I know you keep statistics on who plays what nations. Um, could you possibly tweet me or write down below the statistical analysis of how many people have played Bhutan in Hoi 4? I know I have definitely given them a go before, but that was a long time ago and a lot has changed. Not any- no, nothing has- there has not been a Bhutan DLC uh, update. It's still Bhutan! I gotta say though, Bhutan for the for any nation has one of the best leaders. Same with Nepal. Nepal has the Drip Lord in charge. Um it's just a it's just a shame there's <laughs> no reason to ever play Bhutan. We're gonna go historical AI focuses off for this one. My favorite thing about Bhutan is the Bhutan mod, which is just called Bhutan mod. Um, I could definitely say without a shadow of a doubt, Bhutan does not deserve a focus tree this big. <laughs> but I can say without a doubt, we're gonna have fun. Maybe. Oh, uh, we had no general, so I just uh, hired this guy. He's the man for the job. So we start with three factories, two civilian and one military. We're gonna go wild today! But we do start off with some pretty nifty mountaineer divisions, which I'm pretty sure in these divisions alone is more people than the actual country. Welcome back to my Bhutan Any% Percent World Record Run. Today we're going to sleep, and hopefully it'll be over. Right, so we definitely want to keep our boy Jigmei Wang Chuck in charge, because look at him. He's delicious. So we're gonna go ahead and fix the dynasty and hopefully make this a great country. Oh, did I say keep him around? Uh, I meant keep his like swag around. We'll just, uh, we'll keep the hand, just give it to the next guy. So, um, any of you guys from Bhutan? <laughs> All right, I just Wikipedia a whole bunch of stuff about Bhutan. Apparently the monarchy title, so he wouldn't be King Jigme, he'd be Dragon King Chigme Wang Chuck Bay uh, Shame you're about to get shot though, Dragon King. Gotta say Not quite the same ring to it. Alright. Do you think I could take out Tibet? Oh <laughs> <laughs> this guy's name is Pinor. <laughs> So I sorry I should not laugh at General Penal, but you're gonna be the new field marshal. Oh, I even realize we're now called the Thunder Dragon Empire. Too bad we shot the Dragon Emperor though. All right, doing this, folks, should give us enough manpower to actually fill out our units. But I still don't think we'll be able to take down Tibet by the luck. Uh, yeah, I don't think we can win this. I'm just gonna do a test war just to see what happens, and uh, maybe someone will send me volunteers. Oh, or maybe they'll attack me and die. It's, um, it's actually not going to do bad. I've just kind of sat here. I killed 13,000 to better. Uh, I just want to know that we, we didn't even start with anything but Mountaineers, so we couldn't actually train any more of an army. But now I've just made some crappy ten with, so if we ever make a breakthrough, I'm just going to start snaking with all of these guys. If, uh, if the Tibetans ever run out of manpower, but, um, 
No, they're, they're still, still going. As you can see, things are still going wild in Tibet. We've killed 60,000 Tibetan people. They just keep, keep coming. 150,000 Tibetans later. We have made a push. Um, things get wild on a eh? historical, don't they? All right, we just need to push up to their last VP and we have taken Tibet. It just took three years and a lot of dead Tibetans. Oh, there we go. You can see the name on the map and it is beautiful. Hey, you know what'll be fun? <laughs> Pushing another mountainous country. Now we do just get to do an ultimatum to Nepal. So hopefully they give in. Oh, thank the Lord. There you go. Yeah, not the best looking country, but it'll do. Oh, Zibidi Sanma is not in a faction. Let's see, I was, where, where did I get 500k manpower from? Tibet, you hold out on me. The great dragon pushes east. Also, I have not been keeping track of the world, but everything appears to be on fire. Now, I'd have preferred not to go to war with a massive faction, but uh, everyone around me joined the Axis. Or a common turn. Or the allies. So I guess I'm declaring we're on a massive faction. Um, also... Uh, I'm looking away. Hey, at least someone wants to give me stuff. Damn. Uh, sure is a party in Berlin. I, I don't even... I don't even... <laughs> what's going on? Play Bhutan, they says. So fun. I recommend everyone do a Bhutan game at some point in their life just because, you know, I, I don't want to be the only one suffering. Do it. Go on. It is uh, pretty fun to try and decipher what is going on in Europe because right now, looks like I just dropped acid. <laughs> Funny part about all of this is, is not any of that. It's the fact that the Missy Morsey is still over here. I just... I, I, What's going on? Uh, I don't know if you can tell from this, um, what appears to be explosion, but the Germans might have capitulated. I'm telling you, this looks like someone ate 10 pounds of Skittles and threw up. Out here on the China front, though, nothing's changed, really. If you ever want to experience true pain in Border Gore, just let the AI have a peace deal with Spain. It's disgusting! There's, um, really nothing actually defending China once I got past all those Japanese and German troops. Um, it's just a couple divisions, really. Uh, I've killed 837,000 Germans and 400k of Japanese troops. 600k Chinese troops. Where's the rest of the army? Oh, uh, you know, it's late game hoy. When Denmark lands in China! Alright, we do need to capitulate Japan somehow to win this war, which I... That's not gonna happen for me, I'm just gonna have to wait for the AI to do something. Or, um... You could wake the hell up? How about that? There is no part of this map that hasn't been butchered by the powers of non-historical AI. The AI still hasn't invaded Japan. And America is at war with the Allies now. Wait, when I said wake up, this isn't what I intended. Wait, hold on a second. We are, why, why is fascist Japan's in the common turn? Okay, yeah, I forgot about that one. And we're liberating democratic Japan. What? Whatever, we got military access. We're just gonna get in there and hopefully get this done with. Oh my God. I'm free. Free and definitely going to be adequately compensated for my time here. No, I say time here. That was... That was a prison sentence I just served. Hey, the Yugoslavia is still alive. Oh. How the mighty have fallen. There you go. Back from the brink. They've <laughs> created a monster. Um... I, I wasn't really feeling like doing any sort of RP cool map paint peace conference stuff. I just wanted to be done with the pain. Uh, I also didn't want these guys to join the allies or whatever factions are left. 
and fighting in this bizarro world. Hey, look at that though. It's the fun dragon empire. And it's, and it's two puppets. Yugoslavia and Germany. And uh, the allies are still at war with the uh, US. I don't think that's going to be resolved anytime soon. Uh, especially because the UK is decolonizing quite, quite hefty and quite fast. Um, but this, uh, this common turn Quite cursed, really. Yeah, the, the best part about this painful experience is that next time I get to play Bolivia. <laughs> Help. <laughs> Although, after that, it is Brazil. That one's gonna be fun. Then, after that, it's like, uh, I think it's British Malaya and then India. Uh, British Malaya might be a wild one, and India definitely be fun too. So, we got some bangers coming up. Not just more Bhutan. But, uh, I'm looking forward to you. Or any of this. Oh. That's interesting. I wonder what would happen in this peace deal. I think I'm gonna watch. Uh, while we're watching, I will form the board for sea strategies. Ah. It's probably gonna complicate things a little bit, Fran. And, um, I'd say Napoleon would be smiling upon you right now, but... I don't think he'd be too chuffed about that one. Oh. They did it. Um, trying to figure out the. Lo I, I I get this. I get this part. Maybe this too, but not this part. Mexico. Well, that was not worth an extra hour and a half of my life. Well, I think we've done enough damage today. That was the Bhutanese Thunder Dragon Empire. Uh, what a crazy wild ride it was. Look forward to being back in this exact same scenario with Tibet and Nepal! But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe button down below. Hit the sub button too because, you know, we're, we're gonna get 600k subscribers for that uh, releasable nations Hoi 4 A to Z special whenever that comes around. But until next time, guys, see you in Bolivia.